unplanned video. Ah! Google just released Nano Banana for image generation and it is freaking wild. I'm accessing this AI through Artlist because that way I don't need to juggle a bunch of different subscriptions. They have it all in one place. It's also surprisingly cheaper than going directly through Google for the AI tools. And you can also get all sorts of other things like music, sound effects, and footage through Artlist's Max Plan, which is the one that I use. So here's the story of that image that I showed at the beginning. I just finished filming a video of um, this camera right here. It's the Lumix S12, and there's all sorts of buttons and stuff, and I made a point in the video that it's kind of like looking at a airline cockpit and all the buttons and switches they have there, because I don't really know what to do with all of these. And so I thought like it would be really cool to have a visual of me like in a cockpit not knowing what to do for the edit of this video. Um, the only problem is I don't have access to a plane. Not a problem with Nano Banana. All I did was upload a headshot and I told it to make me the pilot of a plane and this is what it gave me. This is ridiculous. And then because I'm using Artlist, I can then just click animate on this photo and it'll bring me straight to VO3 and give me a video out of the image. All of this within like three minutes of uploading a photo and asking for it to do what I had in my head. But back to Nano Banana, one of the coolest things that I've found that you can do with this thing over the past like a couple hours of experimenting with it is you can combine two photos into one. So if you went on vacation but you weren't able to bring your dog, well, nobody really needs to know. Where I find a ton of use for this though is on the practical side of things. See, my wife and I are moving into a new home. One of the things we're really, really stuck on is what type of couch to get because we just don't know how to envision it in the space. Well, all I did was take a photo of the room and then I took a photo of the couch that I was thinking of buying and I asked Artless to show me what it would look like. There you have it. What do you think? Should I buy this couch? I mean, that is just a perfect example of how to use this in an insanely practical way. But I also want to kind of redesign my studio. So let's ask it to envision like, I've got like this sort of sci-fi neon type thing that I want to do. Let's see what I can come up with for this. It totally just knocked that right out of the park. That's so cool. I, I honestly have no idea how I would pull that off, but I kind of want to try now. This new age of image generation opens up a whole new world of possibilities. And no matter what side of the battle you're on, whether you're pro AI or anti AI, you really can't deny that this stuff is here. It's here for good. And it's really impressive. Let me know down below what you think of this and how you might use it in your projects. As usual, down in the description, I have a link that'll give you two free months added on to any of your subscriptions on Artlist if you wanna try it out. So I recommend taking advantage of that. Um, and until next time, I'm gonna get back to editing because this is super fun.